Are we going to see a much more kind of emphatic Chancellor Merkel around this story? Is she going to be much more forceful about what the Germans want once she's secured this election, if indeed she does? Um, well, first of all, it looks very likely indeed that uh, Mrs. Merkel will remi remain Chancellor in Germany. Um, wh what I think is that she will now go into her fourth term and that, may, that, that means she will probably start looking for her place in, in history books. She certainly does not want to go down in history as the woman who destroyed Europe by, for example, too much austerity or too much focus on fiscal discipline. She rather wants to keep uh, Europe together and by that continue the work initiated by Helmut Kohl, her predecessor, or one of her predecessors. So I think that um, if Merkel remains in power, which is very very likely, and then a bit also depending on the coalition that she can rule in, um, Germany will probably likely be more lenient, uh, especially with regard to, uh, uh, to southern Europe. So that, of course, would be good news for Europe as a whole in the first place. So, Mike Bell, as we look forward to Brexit, which we started out talking about, is it possible that the leaving of the UK will actually enable a Chancellor, uh, I'm sorry, Ch Chancellor Merkel, uh, with the new leader of France, Macron, to move forward with reform in Europe more quickly. It's certainly um, possible. I'm, I'm, Mike, I Bell, expect, Mike Bell. I certain, I wouldn't expect too much on that, uh, but it's certainly possible because if you look back through history through any sort of attempt to move forward with further integration. The UK has been a stumbling block and trying to block that. With the UK out, but obviously we'll have to see how long uh, it takes for the UK to actually leave, but with the UK out, that does remove one of the hurdles for further Euro, Euro integration. But I still think that there are many in Germany who would uh, balk at the idea of uh, Eurozone government bonds, which is really where we need to get to for the Eurozone to make sense in the very long run.